and welcome back it's the clay golem here we're back in foundry vtt uh, and we're looking at a module today not a one that we've not looked at before um quite a quick one this one quick and easy we're looking at something called a status halo um so this has been recommended uh because we are currently mostly using circular tokens um and when we have conditions applied to our characters it can look a little bit odd I'll show you what I mean in a second. So status halo is to deal with that particular issue. So I've already got this on. And because we are using tokenizer, we have been creating like Nundro here. Um, and I've forgotten his name. <laughs> it was one I made up for a purpose. Can't even remember his name. Um, because we've uh, using tokenizer i've got these two as our circular tokens but i've also chucked Haley and soriman back on here um using non non circular tokens so basically square tokens like that um so what actually does this add-on to do so under our configure settings there are no settings to configure we've only got sequence that's the only s1 there's nothing to configure for this. It automatically does what it does. You either want it or you don't. Nothing to configure. Nice and easy. So what does that do? Let's pick on poor Nundro. I'm going to right click and I'm going to apply some status effects to him because it's the easiest way to show you. Look what it does. That's, that's all it does is it puts these different status icons, whether they're spell effects, whether they're conditions, uh, instead of having them in a nice straight line down like we have before, it puts them around. So if you're using circular tokens, it fits in much nicer, it looks much nicer. It really is uh, an improvement visually over what we had. Um, and it doesn't matter how many of these we have, you know, just a few of them, easy peasy, we can do that. Um, I can't remember if Nundro's got any, uh, uh, let's not worry about Nundro for a second. Um, now if we're using square tokens, like Haley and Soriman here, and we start applying these things, it will also use them in a circle. So really you have a decision to make, uh, are you going to use circular tokens or square tokens? If you're using circular ones, do you want them to have this effect where they go round? I think the answer is probably yes. If you're using square tokens, do you want them to go round? The answer is probably no. So let's disable uh, that ability. Let me, I'm just gonna, let me really curse Haley up big time here with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so we can see how, the, <laughs> of course I made her invisible. <laughs> That's the, the one I probably don't want to do. Come back. Um, so this, this is what it looks like with that add-on um, for square tokens and for round tokens. And you can make your decision, whatever you like. Let's go and turn that off. So down here, uh, Stato Halus, turn that off. It's going to reload our scene, of course, um, and zoom in back to the defaults. This is what it looks like without it. Now, what's the chances you're going to have any, this many status effects on one player? probably not that many or very rarely anyway um but if we're doing an awful lot of buffing and things it is possible so that's what it looks like without it um but if you look at nundro circular token one who's got the, um he's got the same amount of um of conditions on him it doesn't look as nice so it's entirely up to you obviously like anything like this um but I think it really does work quite nicely if you're using round tokens. I think that's a really good one. So thank you very much for that suggestion. Really like that. Um, again, just to uh, just to remind you, under my manage modules, this is called uh, I've lost it. Status Halo. So status Halo just makes them go circular. That's it, and I can turn it off and turn it on whenever I like. Thanks, guys. Nice quick one here. Bye.